Hey team, Justin with Manage My Stats here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you around the dashboard as well as our user interface, as opposed to somebody else's. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so let's start off with the user interface. The main menu is on the left-hand side. And just so you know, if you want to, you can click this little arrow right here to collapse it or open it back up. Anything with an arrow on the menu item is expandable. So if you just click that, it'll give you the sub-menu items. And just click back to go back. So going over to the top menu, you've got quite a few different options. Your user options are here. You can change your password or enable and disable two-factor authentication. For more information on two-factor authentication, hover over the question mark and click on Knowledge Base and do a search for two-factor authentication. Then you scroll over to the big square made out of little squares and it's all of your menu items. The bell icon shows any notifications and that can include newsletters or system notifications. The question mark is your access to the knowledge base to contact support, or if you want to, you can switch to the dark theme. This icon gives you access to all of the on-screen guides. I'll show you one to give you an example. So you can just go through any guide that you want and it'll give you call outs to different sections on the page and teach you how to use it. Kind of like what I'm doing here. Up here, you can change your language. Now for demonstration purposes, I do not have the extension installed. However, if you click on it, it will take you to the Google Chrome store and you can add it to your Google Chrome browser. It's actually really important that you download and use the extension. It has a lot of different uses, such as downloading reviews, API connections with businesses that we work with, or if there's a gap in your data in your Managed by Stats account, which has nothing to do with us, it'll download it from Amazon and fill that gap. Okay, let's close this screen out and let's cover the dashboard now. Across the top, you can see that there are actually multiple dashboards and you can set up as many as you like. All you need to do to create a new dashboard just roll over to the right, click on new, and call it whatever you like. Now, as I scroll around, you'll see these boxes popping up. To create a new element, which we call dashlets, just click on the plus symbol, and you can add any of these different dashlets. Let's start with KPIs, which are key performance indicators. All right, now in this case, you can see we have Acme Products, which is our main account. Now, you can go quite granular on this. You can go by brand, ASIN, or even SKU. In this case, I'm going to add the whole account. Now you can see we have our sessions, conversion percentage, profit, and average review. Now that we've added KPIs, let's add another one. Let's go with graphs. Now you can custom title this and the type of graph, and I recommend you go ahead and spend a little bit of time going through this and seeing what it is. In my case, I want quantity ordered. I'm gonna show it in US dollars. However, if you're on a different currency, you can choose this one and it'll show your system currency. The interval is gonna be 15 days, grouped by days. The start of my week is Monday. And I'm gonna make this graph yellow. Now, in the last dashlet, I showed you you can add everything. In this case, we're gonna add one brand, Ferocious. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on Add Dashlet. And there you go. Here's my custom title. My graph is yellow. And it's grouped by days over the last two weeks. Now we can go on for a long time on this, but headers are basically your titles. You've got sales statistics, payouts, restock alerts, seller mail graph, and seller mail stats. Now you don't want to use headers to break up the information in your dashboard. For instance, in my own account, I've got one section for my payouts, my graphs, and then my seller mail statistics. But you can do whatever you want. You're an adult. So let's add this header with the correct spelling, with the other correct spelling. Now that we've got our header here, it's obviously not in a good spot. So you can drag and drop anything on here, just like that. All right. Let's add one more. We're gonna add the sales statistics. Now, I run my business week to week, so I wanna see seven day sales. And I'm gonna do it for the whole business. Click Add Dashlet. And there we go. There's our gross sales, profit, number of orders and units sold, ROI, promos and refunds, 
And then if we wanna see sales tax and PPC, we just check these two boxes right here. Now let me show you something else. If you go into the settings icon, you can choose at any point to show prior interval data because it's always good business to compare this week to the week prior. And there we go. And now you see we've got our prior seven days and our current seven days. A little tip here, if you wanna change the date range on the fly, just hover over date range and you can choose it right here. In closing, don't forget to watch the next two videos where I go into Dashlets far more in depth. And if you've got a burning question in your heart that I just haven't answered yet and you must know right away, don't forget to contact our support team. You can do so by hovering over the question mark and clicking email support. Well, that's all we've got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.